Why is our approach different in aortic and mitral valve incompetence? In mitral incompetence, the left atrium and pulmonary veins see the regurgitant volume early. The work of breathing increases and symptoms develop. But in aortic incompetence, the changes aren't transmitted to the lungs until the condition is advanced. Right. By the time symptoms develop, it may be too late. Heart failure may persist even after you correct the valve problem by surgery. What happens to the left ventricle? It enlarges to accommodate the regurgitant volume. To return wall stress to normal, fibers lengthen in a pattern of eccentric hypertrophy. The microcirculation may not match it and over time fibrosis develops, with loss of elasticity. Oh, like my grandfather's pajama pants. He stretched the waist when he was fat but now he's old they just fall down. Right. So if the ventricle doesn't contract properly does that mean you don't replace the valve? Actually, you often do replace the valve. People do badly with medical treatment. Once heart failure develops median survival may be as low as 12 months. So we operate before then, once there are symptoms? Yes, if the valve incompetence is severe. Remember, there may be other reasons for breathlessness. Okay, so what if the person has no symptoms? If there's signs that the LV is starting to decompensate, it's time for valve replacement. Is that why the guidelines say operate when the end systolic dimension reaches 55 millimeters on echo? Yes, the left ventricle isn't emptying properly. There's also a guideline to operate if the end diastolic dimension is 65 or 70 millimeters. That's much the same thing. Remember the main determinant of end diastolic volume is end systolic volume. What if you're a small person? These dimensions should all be indexed to height. If in doubt, look at the LV response to exercise. A fall in systolic performance is an early sign of decompensation. If the valve leak is only mild, how often should the patient be reviewed? It depends on the underlying cause. Degenerative disease or common aortic root enlargement in hypertension, usually doesn't progress. In contrast, because pit valve or other aortopathies should be watched more closely. Who wants to help me choose my new pajamas? 